Hey everyone, my name is Corey with Spoken Gospel. For the last 1600 years, Christians around the world remember the last days of Jesus' life during Holy Week. Today is Holy Wednesday. Spy Wednesday remembers the day when both faithful Mary and treacherous Judas prepared Jesus to die. After an increasingly public string of challenges to both Rome and the temple system, the religious elite believe that Jesus is a threat to their kingdom and religion. They believe if Jesus doesn't die, their whole nation will be lost. So they make their final plans to kill Jesus. Meanwhile, a woman named Mary takes a jar of perfume valued at 300 pieces of silver, cracks it open, and rubs it into Jesus' feet with her hair. Horrified, Judas speaks up. He calls Mary's display wasteful and argues the perfume should have been sold and spent on the poor. But Jesus quiets Judas with today's verse. In John 12, 8, he says, You will always have the poor among you, but you will not always have me. Jesus isn't dismissing care for the poor with this statement. He's highlighting the value of what he has come to do. Like the religious elite have said, he must die if God's people are to be saved. That's why Mary embalms Jesus in advance. She's preparing Jesus for the burial that will save God's people, not from Rome or poverty, but from death itself. Unconvinced, Judas sneaks away and tells the religious elite he will betray Jesus for a tenth of what Mary has poured out. Strangely, everyone in this story is preparing for Jesus to die. The religious elite offer a bribe to more easily capture Jesus. Judas betrays Jesus for another month's expenses, and Mary prepares him to be laid in a tomb. Even more strangely, everybody believes Jesus must die in order to save them. Judas thought Jesus' death would save his financial status. The religious elite thought Jesus' death would prevent Rome from breathing more heavily down their necks. But Holy Wednesday is good news because Jesus announces that his death will save God's people from death itself. So I pray that on this Spy Wednesday, you will accept, like Mary, that Jesus must die in order to save his people from death forever. The Wednesday of Holy Week, we remember when Jesus was prepared for burial and when Judas became a spy. When everyone knew for one reason or another that Jesus had to die. Like all of Israel's kings, Jesus was anointed. It was a sign to all people that he was God's chosen, the one God appointed. But the woman who anointed him saw her brother Lazarus resurrected by this king. And Jesus said he would die and rise again, so she was preparing him with this embalming. But Judas, one of Jesus' disciples, saw the anointing as a waste and decided to betray this king to his rivals. Which is why, on Holy Wednesday, we remember that this king was seen by some as a rival that must be captured and tried, while others saw that his death would lead to resurrection life, but everyone knew that Jesus had to die.